I recently heard from someone that uh, I'm sometimes viewed as being a judgmental person. And uh, some of the, the things I say, and, and I kind of, I, I put that aura out there, and, and it can have an impact on the people around me. Uh, some people say, hey, I don't want to be around somebody who's going to judge me the whole time. I want to be a, a friend, a relative, a coworker, or whatever. And uh, I, I just want to enjoy your company and spend time with you, and, and I don't want you be judging me constantly. I don't want to have to be thinking about, am I doing the right thing? And am I upsetting Shepard or am I, is he thinking I'm a lousy guy or gal or whatever? And and it made me think, and, and am I judgmental? There are certainly flaws that I have in my character. Um, and I, I thought, well, is that being judgmental? Uh, is that is that a flaw, my judgmentalness? And I'm going to agree and admit, I don't think that's the kind of thing most people just make up. So I'm, I'm going to say, yeah, I probably am. And I'm thinking, is that a problem? And uh, I guess the the reason it could be a problem is if I'm hurting people's feelings. I don't have a goal to hurt people's feelings, people who I care about. Uh, that, that is not something I want to do. I don't think that's my highest value, though. Uh, I think truth, I think searching for truth is a higher value. And so if in my search for truth, some feelings are hurt, uh, I'm not going to go out of my way to hurt those feelings, but you know, finding truth's a, a higher value of mine. Um, and I think most people could understand and appreciate that. So if if you're hanging around with me and I don't know, you're, you, you've got some issues, I'm, I might notice them. Uh, and I bet you're going to notice mine. Uh, I, I, I think we all judge each other to some point, and I, and I hope we're judging, and I hope we're being uh, discriminatory. Uh, like, I, I hope we're discriminating against rotten chocolate milk versus fresh, good chocolate milk that isn't sour. I hope we're, we have this, this high level of looking at things and deciding if they are good or bad or somewhere in the middle and, and, and judging things, and that includes people. And that can hurt, especially if you're imperfect. And I think somewhere between 7 and 8 billion of the humans on this earth are imperfect. I'm one of them. I have a good number of flaws, and, and I don't always appreciate having them pointed out. But I would certainly expect that if you're hanging out with me, and I'm doing some things that are, are lousy or imperfect, uh, or and the good things, I, I hope you're judging all of those. And I, and I hope you're saying, huh, that's that's interesting. Shepard makes these jokes about being overweight, but then there he goes to get another uh, marshmallow and, and, and piece of chocolate. Um, and that, that doesn't seem to be congruent with his disgust with fatness and his alleged desire to be in better shape. Like, I would hope you're judging that and you're seeing that hypocrisy. You're seeing that weakness of mine to, to turn down the food that I think I'm going to enjoy at the moment. Um, I, I hope you'd see that and judge it and say, yeah, I'm, I'm weak and I'm incongruent in, in that way. And the problem isn't you noticing my problem. The problem is me. It's my weakness, if it's even a problem. Uh, and I guess it would depend if a person values um, someone who sticks to what they're doing and does the smart thing and gets in good physical shape. Uh, if that is of value to you, then I guess what I'm doing is a bad thing. Doesn't this make sense? Does, does this, it, wouldn't this carry over to other things? If you're being rude or mean, or you're not talking loudly enough for everyone in the room to, to hear you or clearly enough, I mention that because I'm hard of hearing and people frequently do that. It's just not important enough to them that I hear what they're saying for them to talk at a, a volume and with a enunciation uh, that they know I need to have if they're thinking and if they care. Is it wrong for me to judge them and say, okay, they just probably don't care what the, you know, whether or not I can hear them. And is it wrong for them to judge me and say, dude should have, you know, not operated equipment and, and go including guns and chainsaws and all kinds of other stuff uh, without hearing protection for his whole life. Uh, yeah, we can kind of judge and we can make these, yeah, but this happened because of that. I don't, I don't see a problem with that. Uh, if there's an area that I'm insecure enough about, that I'm upset that people are judging me, then I should probably fix that thing. Wouldn't that be a, a good idea? I should probably fix it. 
So that's kind of my, my first point. And then my second, as I ponder this, is who cares? If somebody's judging you and you respect them and their opinion, then you care. You care what they think. Would you want them to just shut off their brain and not judge you? Or would that be a good, I don't know, kind of push for you to say, you know what? Here's this dude. He's he's come to visit and he's, uh, uh, this is me, me thinking. I'm thinking of uh, a, a friend of mine, Greg, who's a personal trainer and and kind of a motivator of, of men and I think women too to get and stay in shape and be healthy and such. But what if he came out to visit me and he was hanging out and, and I could look at him and I could just see the kind of like, oh, that's too bad that Shepard went for another, what was my example, marshmallow and chocolate. Um, that that would be disappointing. And, and why would I care what he thinks? Because I respect him. Because he's been through the ups and downs in his lives and he's come up with some solutions and he's helping other people fix them. If that's the case and I respect this person, then shouldn't I maybe have that be something that helps me modify my behavior? And I'm getting up and I'm thinking, hey, I'm going to get another beer and marshmallow and chocolate. Greg, do you want... wait a minute. Do I really want to get up and do that? Might that change my behavior, even if it's only in the short term, so that I say, hey, Greg, I'm going to get up and get a tofu infused Brussels sprout. Um, <laughs> do you want one? Well, if that changes my behavior in that small way, that's, I think that's good. I don't think that's a bad thing. Now, let's say, on the other hand, I'm being judged by somebody who I don't care about. And uh, I'm trying to think of somebody who'd be a good example here. Uh, and there are a good number of people who I don't care about. You know, let, let me just make the example of a, a politician, a county commissioner or somebody who thinks that I should live my life in a certain way and doesn't think that I should, uh, I don't know, uh, throw crackers on the ground because the chiselers, the little ground squirrels might get to them and that might not be healthy for them. But as I eat, little crumbs drop on the ground. I don't know what this fixation is on eating. Maybe I'm judging myself pretty harshly and have this on my mind. Anyway, I don't care what this politician thinks. They're welcome to judge me. Um, they're not, like, they've, they've removed themselves from, from being elevated above the state of nature. They are some state of nature being. I don't care if the squirrels laugh at me or the politicians or other people. If they don't like me or if they, they think I'm silly or bad, or I don't care. I don't respect them. Now, humans I do respect. Almost all humans I respect at some level. Even the ones who do some bad things sometimes. Overall, I have respect for them. If, you're, if you've elevated yourself above state of nature, you're, you're kind of on my team, in my club, and, and, I, and I have some respect for you. But I'd say out of the seven or eight billion people on Earth, they're probably, the, the people who I know about at this point, they're probably only a few thousand that I really care about impressing. And if you're not one of those, then I don't really care if you judge me. If you are one of those, then I would think that that would push me to do better. What are your thoughts on this? What are your thoughts on being judgmental about others and about situations and about organizations and, and behaviors and all of this? What do you, what do you think? 